Driving up to my new apartment. I can't believe I've moved. Yesterday, I was supposed to spend most of my day packing. And what did I do? Sit on my bed, just like processing the fact that I am moving. Like I didn't even do anything. Like the anxiety is just like we're going to the apartment now early because we're gonna film the apartment tour. Oh, like moving. I just did a deep how much stress moving is. I'm supposed to actually move all my stuff today, but we pushed it back because it's just a lot to do in one day. Yeah, thumbs up for moving out. <laughs> I could actually cry. I put on a lot of stress weight. I apologize for that. Yeah, I'm excited to move in, but I'm excited to just start creating content and also like creating my own atmosphere. My best friends are all coming down today. I'm really excited about that. Yeah. This is the entryway. Oh my gosh. This is my bathroom. This is actually the main bathroom. There's two bathrooms in this place. This is gonna be my bedroom, my actual sleep space. So this is another storage area. I have plans for this room. This is the bathroom. This is where. <laughs> so this is my balcony. Three step, four step. My kitchen. I have an island. I have these, like what? I'm so excited for this next chapter. I can't wait. I'm so grateful. Thank you, I'm here. My sister's gone. Sorry. Just can't come on camera. Just like teary eyed and shit. Let me just compose myself. I don't know if I'm gonna put this in. I am so emotional and I just feel like I have to capture this moment. Whether I'm gonna use it in the vlog or not, I don't know. There's so much stuff that goes on behind the scenes and like you don't have to be a vlogger to know that like you put on one face for work and then you have your, your personal life, you know. Wherever you work, your colleagues will never know the shit that you are going through in life. Like, but you could be going through real shit, you know. And I feel like, I feel like there's so much stuff that has happened. And like, I was so depressed last year. I was so depressed, I felt so lonely. And I remember saying to myself, going into the new year, I'm gonna focus on myself for real. I feel like for so long, I've chased so many things. And while I was chasing these things, I was running from myself. Sometimes I think to myself, like, how could I waste so much time, like, focusing on things that are so non-important? You gotta go through those things to learn the lessons you need to learn. It's not even out of sight. I'm just so happy, and I know that this is gonna really help me creatively. It fucks with me sometimes that I can't make the videos that I want to make because I don't have the ability to sometimes. I, don't, I didn't have the space to. It used to make me feel really low. I can't believe that I once thought I was not worth being here. And sometimes I think like, what if I had given up? And I'm just so proud of myself that I didn't ever give up. This is basically what I want to say. Like, I just want to say like, Thank you guys so much for supporting me. Like it's crazy. Like people that don't know me are rooting for me more than the people that have known me my whole life. I'm so thankful to God and I'll never stop believing in him and I'll never stop praising him and I'll never stop saying that everything that I have in my life is because of him. Like my parents, my family, my sisters, my friends. Thank you guys so much. Fuck my makeup. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. I'm gonna hate myself while I edit this shit. Yeah, 
here now that i've calmed down i need to touch up my makeup oh i really ruined my makeup it's so annoying i don't even know how to fix it don't think i bought my beauty blender by the way i got this little truck thing from Be beautify which is not a truck it's one of those like makeup cases i actually got the trolley as well i invited my besties over because i really want them to see the place before i get like furniture and stuff so i've invited them around the thing is i feel like i'm thirsty and then it was all like oh i'm gonna come at two and no one's here yet so i feel like going to the shop and getting bits and bobs i literally have nothing i have a mattress downstairs that i have to bring up but i'm gonna wait for the girls to bring bring it up i do want to say this angle is really really not flattering let's adjust Let's see where we're gonna be able to film. Okay. Yeah. Main reason why I wanted to move out is because of course I wanted my own space. I felt like I outgrew my bedroom space. And also like, I felt like I was kind of taking over the flat cause like I would film and vlog in the kitchen and stuff. You'll see my mom in the background and my sister in the background like creeping, like trying not to disturb. Like I felt like they couldn't even relax in their own home when they wanted to. Even though I would always be like, no, you can do your thing. Like it's fine, I'll just, I'll just edit you out. They were just always trying to be like mad supportive and stuff in it. And then the other main reason was because I really, really miss hosting my friends. If any of you guys used to watch my earlier vlogs, you would know that like, I used to host my best friends round at my house all the time. <laughs> And my house was the link up spot. Like it was like we'd go to Dreyer's and we'd go get lit, we'd go out, we'd party, all of that. <laughs> As content creation has now become my full time thing, it's been so hard to host my best friends because my bedroom became my um, like my office. Like literally parcels everywhere, filming equipment everywhere, clothing everywhere. I really, really miss my friends having a place that they could escape to. As of recent, three of my closest friends have given birth, four boys. So I basically have three nephews. Like, like I always thought by the time my friends have kids, I'll have a place and they will drop, you know, their kids around and they'll be able to like have a weekend at aunties and I don't know, just give mommy and daddy a break and just like that. I always just envisioned that was gonna be my life. Like not being able to see my nephews grow like kind of frustrates me because as much as I can just go to my friend's house, people have schedules, do you get what I mean? But I'm always working from home and I can just, you know, free up some time for my nephews or my, my friends. And another thing as well, um, there are times when I want to break news to both my mum and my dad, because my mum and my dad divorced like 20 years ago. You know, it would be awkward for my mum to go to her ex-husband's house, like, and vice versa, do you know what I mean? Because my, both my parents have remarried. I'm just like, like, I want to be able to like, invite both of my parents around to my crib and talk to them, ask them for advice, and they both give me advice at the same time. It's not, oh, ask your mom, ask your dad. No, have a conversation right here in front of me. I'm bringing you guys into my family shit, but I'm just saying like, I want that dynamic. I want that in my life. And I want my sisters to finish school and pull up. My battery died, which means I have to like wrap this shit up, but last but not least i want to be able to have the space to create videos for you guys create content with you guys vlog more often i'm just trying to be me ad style do you know what i mean i'm gonna now edit the room tour to try and get it out for you guys today wish me luck Two hours, yeah. And looks already the deliveries. Yeah. Yes. 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 
Julian has got me a Pisces candle. Yeah. So everyone brought alcohol, but no one brought a soft drink. It's true, How bad is that? She brought my child again. Literally, yo, Liana, yeah, if yours gets to be working, she's like, oh, sorry, guys, my child. <laughs> We also to set up the drink, she's like, yeah, I'm just thinking about my child. A child's over here! <laughs> I cannot. I'm gonna set up my Wi-Fi. And it? Oh my god! This is so cute! Oh, okay. Okay, I'm just like, don't do that. <laughs> that's cute, yeah, that's really cute. Oh. Sarah brought me surface cleaner, toilet gel, she brought me grapes. She got bananas. Oh my gosh, I want to cry. I'm so emotional, oh my god. More grapes, he salted tortilla chips. And then toilet paper. Thank you so much. I told you she gets so awkward. <laughs> Why did she get so awkward yeah. when you hug her? Go hug her, Leona, try. Oh, you're scared. No, 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 no. Just try and hug her, try and hug her. Jacob, go hug mommy, go hug mommy. Yeah, but it's different because Jacob's like, come give me a hug. No, 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 no. You're weird. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, my, what eyelashes are these? Malachi, you want to share? from the Annie Dreyer collection. Be careful, like, don't pop. Enjoy. <laughs> What? This is heavy, guys. This is the East Max. If you don't know now, you know. Okay, so unroll it. But how do you how do you get it to to roll in? Uh, excuse me. Is this how mattresses come? Yeah. Like it's gonna take. Oh, yes, baby. Are you gonna blow? No, it's gonna come up by itself like magic. Can you imagine? <laughs> So what? Auntie. So you're gonna put a landscape? Auntie! Will it fit there? Yes, baby. Um, it's not coming back up. It is, look. It's for the it's good for the it's good for the back and the neck because I'll get I get back in. It might go up more, but when you sit on it, sit on it. And sit on it. Your head let your head down. Check, 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 check. I just feel like there's like little butterflies inside me. Oh, you're such a Pisces. <laughs> no, like I didn't think I was getting emotional like this, but I'm just like. <laughs> you did this, man. Like, what? 100k in a year? Who else can do this? Who else has done this? What? Oh my god. <laughs> You did it! You did it! You did it! Oh my god! You that did it! Updated on social blades. Listen. <laughs> oh my god! I'm just so happy. Oh, you're so happy.